Okay, I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. Um, I've recorded this three other times and it was either too long or the audio was really bad. And basically I'm going to walk you through the process of how I make these kind of fluid blobs. Uh, usually use Adobe Dimension because it's just easier to add 3D materials and you know adjust your environmental light. But I don't know if everyone has that, so I decided to do it 100% in Photoshop. And, you know, it worked out. Okay. Alright, let's get started. I'm gonna open up a new document. I use half letter, which is 5.5 by 8.5, uh, 300 ppi. So you're gonna start off by making some shapes. I'm just gonna make a bunch of circles. Use the ellipse tool and just press Command J to duplicate those shapes and I'll do about five. Just different sizes. We'll do one more. Something, something like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate this, hide the bottom one, um, just so I can go back and reuse it again if I want to and then I'm going to come up here to filter distort twirl and this is where we're going to get our motion from there we go and you can distort it more or use wave which is what I usually like to use um, to add a little bit more motion to it but this is what we're going to do for this particular one. Go up to 3D, new 3D extrusion from selected layer. Press yes. And here we go. First things first, go to your properties. It's right here. And then you're gonna stay on the start icon. Turn off your cat shadows and turn off your cast shadows. I'm just going to rotate it so I can see uh, the light a little later on. Turn your extrusion depth to zero. And all you do is just scroll down from the same menu that we were on. Press enter. Go to cap, which is the third icon from the left. Under sides here in this drop down menu, select front and back. Come down a bit, leave these the way that they are, but come over here to contour. And then you're gonna select uh, half round. You're gonna push the angle all the way out to 90 degrees, and then you can adjust the strength however you like. I usually like to keep mine kind of subtle, so I'll do 20%. Alright, we're done with that. Come to environment and the 3D panel. Anyway, then you're gonna do... You're gonna make sure that IBL is selected. It's uh, image-based lighting. And we're just gonna click on that. Edit texture, which will take you to a new window where you'll come to File, Place Embedded, and you'll select the Empty Light Red Studio, which will be linked in the description. It's like an HDRI light setup, but it's free. And come to your layers, rasterize this, hit Shift Command U, 
to desaturate and then command M if you're on Mac. Drag down the lowlights and bring up the highlights just a little. Command save and make sure to copy it because we're going to use it a couple other times. And so you can kind of see here now that we're getting some of those those light the light it's starting to kind of reflect which is what we want go back to your 3d environment come down here to color no 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 you can leave the color the same go to intensity and put it at 20 percent okay now we're going to come to our group one copy which is just it's got a little star next to it. And then under that, you're gonna do, you're gonna click on front inflation material and then come to your properties. We're gonna drag down the base color just a bit. We're not gonna go true black, but we want it to be darker. Go here to your materials drop down and select metal chrome if you can't find it just hover over a bunch of them and then it'll look something like this metallic drag it all the way to 100 percent uh leave everything here but then come down to environment and press edit texture you don't have to delete this you can just paint paste the image that we copied earlier and save it and so you can see we've got this really nice chrome look going on so we're gonna do the same thing to the back so come over to group one copy or whatever you named it and go to back inflation material and we're gonna do the same thing uh, don't worry about the base color, it's universal so it'll change. Drag metallic over to 100%. Go to environment, edit texture. We're gonna paste our image in. Hit command save. Exit out of that. And there we go. We've got chrome orbs. And this works with uh, fonts, typefaces, whatever. Um, and like Illustrator icon, illustrated icons, or whatever you want to add. Okay, now we can get out of a 3D environment up here. This little window drop down. Go to your layers panel. And go to File, Place Embedded, and we're just going to grab an image that we're going to work with. I'm going to use one that I've used in the past, just because I know it'll work. Um, and I'll also link this one as well. It's from Unsplash. There we go. I'm going to blow it up just a bit. I'm going to duplicate this send it to the back or send it to the bottom yeah the back then the top one I'm gonna create a clipping mask for on our 3d object and then on the actual image I'm gonna hit screen I'll move this over just a little bit there we go So on your 3D object, double click on it to open up the layer style window. Click bevel and emboss. And you're going to select inner bevel, smooth technique, 615 for the depth. The size is going to be 54. The soften is going to be 8. Your angle is going to be at 114 or whichever direction the light is in your image. The gloss contour is going to be ring double. And then you want to change your highlight mode to screen 
true white and then the shadow mode multiply um, true black then next we're gonna go to inner glow inner glow inner shadow inner glow you're gonna go to inner glow choose screen and then you're gonna select kind of a color that complements or similar to the color in your image and I might actually want to do inner shadow hold on let's use something like that go to screen Yeah, I'll just do inner glow, it doesn't really matter. And then you're gonna choose satin, which I set it at overlay, true white, with a 50% opacity. Angle is at zero, distance 36, the size is 125, and the contour on this one is also ring double. And once you're done with that, you can just hit okay. So next we're gonna duplicate, let's just hit command J. There we go, we'll duplicate our object, our 3D object layer and put that on top of, okay, put it on top of the image. Okay, next, what I forgot to do, select level and it's already clipped. So just come, turn this off and just come here to your levels and push and bring down those low lights a bit. I'll put it at 30. Well, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll put it at 30 and I'll leave this at one. It doesn't make a huge difference, but it's, you know, subtle. Okay, turn the top 3D object back on, drop the fill down to zero. And then again, we'll open up this layer style. Turn off bevel and emboss, but keep on inner glow and inner shadow and turn satin off. So we'll come here to inner glow first, change it to vivid light, true black, and you can actually keep everything the same unless you want to add some noise, which can be nice sometimes or it can be distracting. I'm going to I'm going to set mine at 10. There we go. Oops. Okay, and then come here to inner glow. Turn that on to the same vivid light. True black. Uh, and we can leave everything the same as well. Yeah, what you want to do when it gets like that, like before, how it had like the super dark, harsh um, outline. Just turn off a layer and then turn it back on. See, like that. It'll look like that and you'll think you've done something wrong, but no. So both of them are vivid light. Uh, I think I wanna change this one to, yeah, yeah, yeah. So under inner shadow, you come back in to your layer style, change the quality contour here to Gaussian. And then you can hit okay, turn one off. And so this is kind of, you know, what the final could look like. I want, Hmm. I'm gonna come back in to the low, the bottom 3D layer and just see if I can pull back on some of those those kind of harsh those harsh edges. Can't really tell which one it is. Okay. 
There you go. And if you like this style too, you can just leave it. But I'm going to come back in here to Inner Shadow. Drop this down to 60% opacity. Uh, hmm. Yeah. I'll drop it to 60%. And yeah, I like that. Mm-hmm. That's it.